Hello guys, this is Trinivas, the developer from the developer channel. Today, we are going to solve the Skidmark daily challenge of 22nd, uh, 23rd June 2021. Here, this is the problem. Function add seconds. They will give a format of time with a half hour, minute and then seconds. We just need to add the additional second to the time and then we have to make it as a proper format which is nothing but 24 hour 60 minutes and 60 seconds format let's see how we are going to solve this in a programmatical way because since we don't have to spend time on solving this time problem here this is the code they have given here they have created a structure variable uh, time and the structure is like that it, it contains hour minute and seconds and they have typecasted as time this structure variable is a dynamic one they have allocated dynamic memory allocation for this and they have stored values in it and then they have get the value for additional time and they have created a, another structure variable with the add seconds so we have to make this function so it will return the modified time and then they are printing the time here since if we are doing that uh, with a separate thing like if you are taking care of seconds separately minutes separately and hours separately we need a block of if and else statements because we need to check everything instead of that we can do a simple way like converting all those time into seconds for that i'm creating a variable seconds this will contain the value x and then seconds will be added with the time seconds and then seconds will be updated with minutes into 60 and then seconds will be updated with into 60 into 60 which is nothing but 3600 three, starting but 3600 so before that we have to print So now we have the whole seconds. This should be seconds. And I'm passing the value one, two and 3 and then I'm adding one more second so this should return 3600 plus 120 plus 4 yeah 3724 <clears throat> so it's working fine what we have to do is now we can simply just typecast those values like we can get the hour from a second right for that i just need a structure variable because if i modify this time since this is a pointer variable and they have passed by passed the value by reference it will affect the old time also to get rid of that I'm just creating another time variable time new time 
equal to this should be a pointer variable type casted value of time and that's a pointer variable and then we are allocating memory using malloc of size time so we have successfully created a new time variable now it's time to store the values new time seconds equal to what seconds by 60 or modulo 60 I guess it's modulo and then we have to new time minutes equal to seconds by 60 and then modulo 60 so our minute won't get exit of the bound 60 finally we have to make the new time hour hour equal to seconds by three six double zero and then that should be more load by 24 so we won't get the 24 hour time limit exits or uh, something I uh, was just blabbering there I'm passing some random values one two and then 59 and I'm adding some what seconds of 120 so we have got the same because instead of new time I have written the all the time so if I repeat this 159 and 59 we got we are adding just 120 our all the time is come on yeah I have changed that but I haven't compiled the new version so we are getting the same one okay this time 23 59 on 59 and I'm passing 120 seconds we have got the second is 59 under the 120 seconds is added to the minute so it will become 60 and then 1 and uh, the hover will be updated as 00, 0 which is nothing but uh, 24 if we do that the same operation for 24 59 or 58 and then 59 and I'm adding or passing 121 seconds we got one one oh I should pass two so we got something one 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 like that that's it guys that's it for today's video here this is the code for your view hope you like this video see you soon with something else tomorrow until then bye